Hi there, I'm Ben. So nice to greet you here in, uh, in space uh, or in this space. And we're going to have a look in this video at how to enrich your playing, your ukulele playing. We're going to look at chord transitions and I'm going to teach you how to think in a way that's different than just looking at the chords and playing them, but in thinking of a way that it's from point A to B and actually you can interchange a lot of different variations of similar chords to enrich your playing and mean that it will sound different, it will sound new and more inspired when you play and improvise. So let's have a look at this together. Um, oh, remember to subscribe, that's really cool if you do because then you'll, we can spend more time together, which, uh, which is a nice idea. So, um, to, to do this, I'm gonna use the song Fly Me To The Moon, uh, which Frank Sinatra, of course, sang all the way back in 1964, if you wanted the date. And this song was voted in the top three of uh, last month's vote by the patrons. So thank you so much for taking part in the vote. So this counts as the tutorial <laughs> that you earned by voting. But also it's a tutorial with knowledge that you can use in many, many different contexts. And actually any time you're gonna see these chords come up. So let's have a look at the basic chords in the song and then we'll start talking about what can interchange, what you can add to your playing, to your ukulele playing style. So fly me to the moon, fly. Um, we wanna start singing, in case you're looking for the notes, on A3, what does that mean? A string, third fret. Fly, A minor, fly me to the and we keep that finger there d minor seven four fingers moon let me g7 keep the index there move the other fingers play among the stars lift two fingers leave the ring finger there stars so you see there's not that much movement because there's always a bridge between these chords that's just a little bit of advice there let me see add a finger what spring is like on e7 g Peter and Mars AM A7 to move towards DM7. Uh, you'll notice here the AM, the A minor, and the AM7 are in italic because each chord will have four beats. One, two, three, four, DM7, one, two. But here the AM, AM, A7, two beats each, italic, half as half as long. Jupiter and Mars, two and one, two, DM7 in other words, G7. Hold my C hand, or C major 7, DM7, in other words, DM7, baby kiss me. And this E7 leads us back to the A minor. Just so you know, this song, you, you have to strum it with a skip down, not straight like this. then uh, you will be barred from um, the cool ukulele communities. <laughs> so it's a test to come in. Can you play Fly Me To The Moon with a triplet? Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Down, up, down. You can try that as you're muting the strings with me. Down, up, 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 down. And you don't have to strum all the strums, especially not all the ups, but you really want to uh, always have this constant movement in your arm here. Da, 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 da. Fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. A7. In other words, what I do sometimes also is slightly lift the fingers after I play, like this. Baby, kiss me. E7, 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 E7. La, da, 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 da. So, what can we do with this? Be because basically the whole song is going to be these chords all the time. And you may find very boring versions, arrangements for the ukulele or even for the guitar. In the version that is in the songbook, uh, Space Songs Volume 1, best songbook ever, by the way, I've been told, or I've, I've told myself, but it counts. Um, in that songbook, the chords change all the time. And I wanted to explain how you can figure out what to change so that it, a melody that's repeating itself like here in a jazzy piece sounds new all the time. So let's start with the second line 
and let's see which chords we can probably change. Fill my heart with song. DM7, let's keep it normal for now. And let me sing forever more. So here, C major 7. But actually, um, after the C major 7, we've got an F. And if you've got a C going to an F, or C whatever, C major 7 going to an F in a jazzy song, let's try a C7. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. You, you see, there's a different kind of pull all of a sudden. Sing forevermore. You sing forevermore. You are all that that's really cool, but we can not only do a C7 because we're going to an F, we can also add our middle finger on C2 and then we've got a C9 or a G minor 6 um, basically yeah we are adding the ninth this chord can be called either names fill my let's try it with that one you can play with me fill my heart with song and let me G7 sing forevermore F U you see there's a different color so the interesting thing is that these chords are interchangeable because they play the same role, but it's a bit like having a, a, a play, a theatre play, with the same, same Hamlet, but depending on which actor you choose for that role, it'll have a different, different feeling. Which actor did you choose? Well, that will have an impact on how it comes across and how the scene feels, probably. So that's kind of what's going on here. Um, that C at the end of the line can be a C major 7, a C7, or even add the middle finger to go to the F. You are all I DM long for. And here DM, we're in a jazzy song again, can be a DM7. All I, E7, worship and adore. But actually the E7 throughout the song can also be changed with the diminished. D diminished or G sharp diminished 7. 1, 2, 1, 2. So you can change that. And that's a small change that will also add a little different sound. Worship and adore. A7. But actually, at the end of the line here, we don't have to move with an A7. What if we use an A7 uh, with the minor ninth here, which actually is played like a diminished 7, G diminished 7. Let's see how that sounds. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, it's a different sound than adore. In other words, or adore. In other words, so that's interchangeable here. Instead of an A7, you can have a G diminished 7. You can even have a GM6. You can even have a A9. Let's let's try that one then. You are all I long for. All I worship and adore In other words So what you want to do is try out all these variations and the real jewels, musical jewels that you can keep in your heart they come from the practice of playing all these little slightly different variations of transitions between chords and seeing why do they sound slightly different If you just learn them, that's no point You have to play them and try and feel, ooh, this is, is this a bit more sad? Is this, a, there's a bit more friction? Is this sounding a bit more open? Does this lead better to the F or to the DM7? So, you've noticed a lot of the chords that we can interchange, they'll be on the uh, C, CM7, or the AM, A7 bit. Um, basically, when we land at the end of a line, to go somewhere else. But there's also more stuff that we can do. Namely, we don't have to just pick a chord and make sure it's two beats or four beats. What's really nice to do is if this knowledge that you can interchange certain chords just makes a brief appearance, right? Doesn't need to be, I'm here for two beats or I'm here for four beats. It can be a bit more fluid in your playing. Let's take that uh, as an example. In other words, Yes, let's take that as an example, the part that says, in other words. In other words, G7, hold my hand. And here we've got four beats of C and four beats of C major 7. But why don't we do 
C, C major 7, GM6, and then A7 with a bit of with a bit of ninth here. We talked about this chord, the G diminished 7. So we've got C, C major 7, GM6, and A7 with a, with a bit of something here. And let's see if we can make it sound a bit more natural than going C, C major 7, GM6. Let's see if we can jazz that up. In other words, G7, hold my hand. In other words. So here what I'm doing is these little bits, these little chords, they're often landing on the up. So instead of going one, two, one, I'll go one, two, change and two, and one, two, and one, two. And that's this syncopation moves the chords about and all of a sudden when you're not singing, there's a bit more happening with your ukulele playing. So I'll, let's do that quite slowly. One, two, three, four. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, so basically the idea is but I'm going and I'm also using thumb and index. Why am I doing that? It's because using thumb and index all of a sudden you're hitting different notes and different strings meaning that you will be more entertaining as you play because you won't be having the same strum four notes at the same time. So that's a lot to unpack in this lesson and hopefully it's very useful to you. Uh, I hope. Take the time to just play simple lines and see if you can interchange a few things and make them a bit more groovy by having some chords change on the up. And if you go and get the song sheet, there's lots of variations throughout the song. I've written one arrangement of it but there's lots of little changes throughout as we've talked about. See you soon for more everybody and thank you so much to those who have the kindness and the trusting heart to support me on Patreon. That's really great. See you soon, bye bye.